ninety two percent base stability is what we get through this whole thing. That's nice. We need that. If that's that's what we lost. Bonus. Wow. Well, it's nineteen thirty three. The pressure is about to be over. All right. So finally, time to pick something good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds sounds very base. convincing. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm, ju I'm just, you know, doing my government because I do have enough political power. It's just, it needs to be 1936 for any research to be done. So anything that helps research, yeah. uh, like, you know, industrial concern or electronics concern and all that stuff, it's a bit early. It's yeah, I did the basic there. machine tools a thousand days ago or so. It's just 300 days left or 371 Black days guy. left. It's so freaking slow. Yes. Guy. Civilian Conservation Corps. Allows unemployed men to work for six months on conservation projects such as planting, planting trees, planting preventing trees. soil erosion, combating forest fires. Workers live in militarized camps across the country and make 30 bucks per month. Oh, well, nice. in 1933, what an income. 30 bucks wasn't that bad. And then again, in 1933, for like 15 cents. The depression ran up to until 1940? Yeah. Uh, I hope I can get out yeah, of that yeah, earlier. Yeah, it did, but, you know, the, the major downside was... Well, technically it was until they started supplying the UK um, with material. Which was a land lease. They didn't get anything for it. Supposedly, after the war, uh, the UK had to pay them for it. So, that, that's why it's called a land lease, right? They, yeah. they lent it to them. Uh, but that got people back into construction and that got, you know, all the industries rolling, all the, the resource gathering and uh, manufacturing process and all of that. So, yeah, sure. True. No template for towed artillery. No shit, yeah, Sherlock. I got that guy and now it actually helps. Awesome. Um, the right things. I can get out of it as soon as we have 20% world tension. I can actually rush. It's like 70, 100 it's one two hundred and ten days, and I can reduce it by ten percent, and then West again twenty uh, two hundred ten days. So in in basically two hundred uh four hundred and twenty days, I could be out of uh the depression as soon as we reach twenty percent world tension. On the other hand, if we reach 20% world tension and because Japan tries to annex some of my territory, uh, I need to go another route first <laughs> to defend yeah. my country. <laughs> it's a bit of a thing. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 30 four, bucks a month is not a lot of money. Focus three things to do before I can do what I want. Well, probably back then it was was decent. I don't know how long, how far thirty bucks would have would have brought you in nineteen thirty four. Today you can bar get, barely get anything if it did that. I think. Well, if you remember that shortly after the war, so in nineteen fifty, uh, a dollar was worth four German marks. So for hundred dollars, you could get four hundred marks. Yep. Yeah, was the dollar was strong. Oh yeah. Same for the oh, pound. Okay. I remember the first time I went to England. I think I got like nearly six pound to one Swiss franc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. Well, obviously now with Brexit, everything will be better. Strongest oh yeah, of pound course. Ever. Of course. Like, like they just lost the crap ton. Brexit will make it better. Did you hear that there's actually? Um, like like four hundred thousand people are calling for a re-vote on Brexit. Yeah, apparently, yeah. And that's just you know the smallest number they could confirm. The fun thing was there, um, the people who wanted Brexit were actually not in power. So the people who are now dealing with Brexit are people who would wanted to stay in the EU, anyways. Yeah. That's democracy for you. <laughs> there you go. And in Switzerland in November, I think it's in November, or is it the end of October? We have uh, also a poll uh, voting oh, stuff for um, Selbstbestimmungsinitiative. 
Oh, oh, self-government stuff. Yep, yep. Uh, meaning um, the EU actually wants to put their gun laws up on... Uh, enforce their gun laws up on Switzerland. Uh, which is one, one of these parts in this regulation, which gets the gun nuts here in Switzerland all riled up. Although, if you already own a gun, you don't have a problem. It stays the no same. Um, no. And the other thing would be, then there would be no more Schengen for Switzerland. So the border controls would be back, would be put back yeah, in order and everything. I mean, and I wouldn't mind because I voted not to join the EU back then. So. Yeah, I can understand that. It's just not joining the EU and completely cutting. Um, well, not cu not cutting ties, but cutting the the. It's basically cutting the, ties. The treaties, really. the treaties you have for duty free environments and all that stuff, um, or or open borders. It's not yep. the right way to go. That's the whole isolationist thing we had before World War One, and that didn't go so well. Well, it works for America right now, apparently. Yeah, obviously it does. <laughs> Did you? It only works if you are the dominant nation on your continent, which America obviously is, and you have all the resources and don't need any. In short terms, they don't need any. Well, they still have all the Alaskan oil fields. For example, um, they don't really have any rare Canada. earth uh, rare earth deposits in the U.S. Though. Well, they have most of the stuff they need. I mean, they even have a desert, so <laughs> getting the Silicon Silicon Valley stuff, running yeah. is not that big of a deal. But yeah, no, I, I don't really want to talk politics. Uh, just just one more point: When do you think the first nukes will fall? That will take a while. Well, in six months, the Americans want to leave the INF denuclearization treaty thingy. Yeah. Which then means the Russian will do it as well. So that's kind of sucky for Europe. <laughs> well, Alec Baldwin called for a soft revolution. Um, is that something that, similar well, to know, soft por softcore? Yes, you don't do anything, but it still works. Okay. So, um, use the rules the system has provided to you to make sure that those in power don't stay in power. True. Instead of, you know, taking up arms and forcing them to go, and, you know, soft revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, a hard revolution is much more fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just collateral damage will be much higher. If you look from the outside in. I was going to finish well, my sentence collateral, like this. <laughs> collateral damage looks from the inside out towards you. That's an issue. That's the problem there, right? Give me new. Give me new. Freaking fighters. Daughters of Westminster. What does that do for me or to me? Where is it? Where is it? Sitting here doing nothing. We'll take ages until I get anywhere here. But I do need. I do need the factories. I need all the factories. Once we get rid of all these... Well, it gives me democratic models, meanings and adds another hundred! Damn it! Go. Takes me longer again to get independent from the UK with this focus they just chose. Bastards! 20 artillery. Just one, uh, 100 more and I can equip all my divisions with artillery. Well, Ian, like uh, like Scripter said, the US don't really need to import oil if they would tap all the oil fields in Alaska and destroy the environment up there. Well, or Canada. There's a lot of oil there. True. But uh, Trump made it pretty hard to deal with Canada and with well, yeah. the EU. But then again, he's a businessman first. Yeah, true. If he needs the oil, he will reverse all of his tactics just to get that. That's true. You know, that's He's a business guy, not a politician, and that's the major issue with him. He just works in terms of what gives me the most benefit right now. Yep. Which and gives him, is... at the moment, the right. Like, a, like a yeah, GDP in the US is, what, 4% up? 4% growth? It's not bad. Well... But, like like I said, that's short term. Germany in 1938. Yeah. True. You see where that got Germany. And at that stage, they didn't have nuclear weapons, and they weren't the dominant power on the planet. True. That's the big difference. True. Yeah. 
No, I just think he is not thinking far enough ahead. He wants to quit the no, I, the INF treaty, but then he still wants to station uh, mid-range nuclear weapons in Europe again, but pisses off everybody in Europe. On the other hand, Europe is still afraid of of Russia, so they probably will accept that, which is stupid. The, Europe That's just the Patriot rockets in, in Turkey. Yeah, uh, Europe just should, should stay out of it completely. Like, nah, the Americans can't station anything with us, and the, uh, the Russians can't station anything with us. Just leave us alone. Paraguay has capitulated. They finally had their war, actually. <laughs> did, did Bolivia manage to get one division out? Yes, yes. one division, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, one division just went to the capital and knocked on the door and said, Well, yeah, I finally found a rifle. Yeah, I'm going to shoot the president. <laughs> Done. War. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Um, I, I finally Canada, found one rifle. <laughs> Canada has five divisions and 2,000 manpower. That's going to go well. <laughs> uh, come on, Mexico. Are you considered a major nation? Well, it's eight divisions and 80,000 manpower, so I guess that's considered a major nation. Maybe. Might we'll be. We'll see. Well, tension is down to 3%. So yeah. you want to leave the Allies, right? I want to leave the Commonwealth for sure. Well, yeah, that kind of goes along. Yeah. Well, I could still stay allied, but I will leave the Commonwealth for sure. We could just say you and me just form a faction, and that's it. Well, yeah, I can work. I can work towards the. Well, not yet because it's not 1943 or whatever. Well, like I said, I'm gonna go communist as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, I can work. Uh, I would be right democratic now. then, but I have like Wu the USA, which gives me what, which increases the opinion, which doesn't really matter with us. Uh, and after this one, I can do set the rule can create a faction. Creates a faction, the Southwest and Pacific Initiative. And I'll be the global leader. But yeah, we could do that. Huh? I need to wait till December 31st, um, 1934, to actually support political appeasement before I can choose to go any further. I think I can't join the faction. Yeah, can't, well, I can I cannot join the faction led by another ideology. I'm gonna go communist, definitely. Okay. For War Plan Red. So, if we agree on that... Um, we can work towards all the things. Uh, uh, 35, 35. Oh, yeah. I can really not choose anything else in my focus tree. Uh, Nothing. Till the, the th th 31st of December. Fighters. Already uh -huh. did that. And the rest is 1st of December 35 or 20% world tension or January th uh, or December 31st. We're getting somewhere interesting. And uh, the continuous focus uh, tree I cannot choose because... I need to start that. Nine. Okay. I definitely need to start that. <laughs> yeah, Ian, I know that. I'm actually... I was a long time in the army and we worked with NATO and everything together. Uh, well, he kind of pays for... Na US kind of pays for NATO, but they pissed off all their NATO partners with, with, with retrie retrieving money and stopping certain payments. So... Tell me one thing. Paraguay has capitulated, right? Yeah. Why isn't the war over? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Hasn't it been midnight yet? Twice or three times? Oh, a lot of times. It's just the war is still there. Don't know. The only participating nation has capitulated. So it should have been over. It isn't. Maybe a block in the mortar. I'm getting somewhere. Maybe that increases the... Well, tension a little bit, okay, which it doesn't. Let's plan our research strategy here. So when that is done, I'm probably gonna go. Radio seems good. Uh, what else could I do? I do but that. Ian, uh, we that probably should stop way. this uh, discussion. Could continue there. Because no, otherwise, no. we probably won't talk to each other anymore at some point. <laughs> It's just that's gonna happen anyway. Yeah, that's true. It's just Trump doesn't really have a very good um, expression. Uh, left a very good opinion of 
himself or the U.S. anywhere abroad. Let's put it that way. That is true, yeah. No. He's a jerk. Yeah. It's my professional opinion as a gamer. He's a jerk. Uh, my professional opinion uh, is that actually, like, 98% of politicians are jerks. That includes, like, Angela Merkel in Germany, that includes our seven Bundes, Bundesrat, that includes the royal family in England. I wouldn't disagree. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we just started researching stuff here, and uh, we should have done this first. Great. Anyway. Yeah. Electronics. <laughs> no, we're gonna go with that one. As usual. <laughs> Greece only meets the requirements oh, because they actually were bankrupt. <laughs> Basically were bankrupt we're and got a lot of money from the EU. But Industry research. Ah, uh, 34 July. Uh, what did I want to research? Let's start on the Revenge class battleship. Or... Great. Planes? Oh, planes? Or... All the planes! All the planes? Nah, actually, yeah, let's oh, let's know. go battleship navy. Yeah, that's... Or carrier? Nah, battleship. Yeah. Let's go direction battleship. Well, we're in construction. Still out of that 15%. Interesting. Did we get bonus on that one? So we lost 5% consumer of factories, which is good. We actually now have 15 I actually can do that as well. Well, as soon as it is, it is the 31st of December this year, I will start my 200 day, 210 day journey towards uh, minus 10%. <laughs> Look at you going. Yay! <laughs> so, is there anything in here that moves me towards communism? No. That's the South America crumb stuff. Now that is Navy, that is Army and Air Force, that is all the war stuff. All the war stuff. How many artilleries do I have? 120 yet? Ugh, 40. No. God damn it. None of this helps right now. That would also be nice. Decryption plus twenty percent, sure. Uh, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. That doesn't help at all. Well, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't even for my, my well. Switzerland doesn't really have a president. We have like seven. Um. <laughs> Well, we actually have a president, but he has he is one of seven, and he ha the president is just like a title if other big people, other politicians meet, if they want to meet the president. But he has uh, Switzerland, like we have seven Bundesräte, um, council members, which rule mm -hmm. the country, so to say, which splits the power real nicely. Glorious seven. Which sh <laughs> would be nice if they would be glorious seven, but nah. nah. Definitely not. How they screwed up the last couple of years. I always like to go back to the point there. Um, 1932, the people in Switzerland voted, we do not want summer and winter time. Don't do the whole clock hour change, uh, daylight saving time and yeah, winter time. We don't want that. 1948, the Swiss Swedish government Swedish. implemented it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Against the will of right. the people. So, yep. yeah. That's pretty much how politics work, right? Yeah, found a loophole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you thought you didn't want that, but yeah, still you get it now. <clears throat> people tell your government what they want. The government takes all that information, figures out that it's too expensive, and does something else. True. Yeah, the, the regulation. The, the point there was because everybody around does change it. It makes no sense mm. in uh, trade opinion wise and stuff. Mm. Who cares? It just sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anarchy is also not the point. Uh, not the not the goal. You can't live with anarchy. Huey Long is present. Who the hell is Huey Long? 
But yeah, okay, I, I take that national Naval strategy. maneuvers. What's Japan doing, by the way? Spread yeah, Bushido. What does Spread Bushido yeah, lead to again? Uh, not so directly to war right. yet, which is okay. Right. Germany is working on Gleichschaltung. 